The Appalachian Mountains, often called the Appalachians, are a mountain range in eastern to northeastern North America. Here, the term, Appalachian, refers to several different regions associated with the mountain range, and its surrounding terrain. Appalachia is a socioeconomic region located in the central and southern sections of the Appalachian Mountains of the eastern United States. There are creatures both legendary and unidentified roaming the Appalachian Mountains. For generations, supposed sightings of these monsters, with such names as Wolfman, Devil Dog, Wampus Beast, Mothman and Lizard Demon, have occurred along the 1,500-mile stretch of mountains. Sure there are black bears, bobcats, wild boars, and venomous snakes, but dozens of eyewitnesses claim they've seen Bigfoot, headless monsters, Mothman, and shapeshifters walking through the Appalachian Mountains. Here's a list of some of the mountain monsters lurking in Appalachia. 1. Bigfoot. The Appalachian Mountains are believed to be a haven for Bigfoot. The elusive creature has been spotted throughout Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia, and West Virginia. Eyewitness accounts describe the creature as having different colored fur, though one of the most striking species of Bigfoot is a nocturnal creature with black fur and glowing green eyes. 2. Wolf Man. A large canine-esque mammal is roaming the hills near Wolf County, Kentucky. Believed to weigh in at 500 pounds and stand taller than 7 feet in height, the Wolf Man is bipedal and has fur similar to a bear or a gorilla. It is believed to live in caves and has been seen around the area since the 1970s. 3. Smoke Wolf. The solid black smoke wolf is a massive canine with eyes as red as the sun. One witness who has heard smoke wolves howl and scream at night on his property describes them as pure evil, noting they kill for fun. The only thing known to deter a smoke wolf is the sound of rattling chains. 4. Wampus Beast. The large, black feline-like creature lives in the woods and has been spotted around Pleasants County, West Virginia. Wampus beasts are four times the size of male mountain lions and weigh in at 500 to 600 pounds with massive paws. The predators have a strong odor like a cross between a wet dog and a skunk. 5. Grafton Monster. The Grafton Monster was first spotted in West Virginia in the 1950s and is described as a massive bipedal creature with short fur. It's estimated to weigh between 1,000 and 1,500 pounds and boasts broad shoulders. Its head sits low in front of its body, making it appear headless from behind. It is believed to eat livestock. 6. Mothman. The bat-like winged cryptid was first documented in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, prior to the collapse of the Silver Bridge over the Ohio River in 1966, and sightings have been reported ever since. According to legend, the creature is 7 to 8 feet tall, has a 10-foot wingspan and nests in caves. Mothman tends to be spotted just before a catastrophe. 7. Raven Mocker. According to Cherokee legend, the Raven Mocker is a shape-shifting Bigfoot standing 7 feet tall with black fur and solid, white eyes. This type of Bigfoot is believed to inhabit southwest Virginia and is able to shift into any animal and can also take on the appearance of an old man or woman. In its human form, the Raven Mocker can lurk among unsuspecting people and eat their hearts from their chests without ever leaving a mark. 8. Silver Giant. The Silver Giant is similar to a bear and can run as easily on two legs as it can on four. When standing, it is between 9 and 11 feet tall. While its fur is generally dark, it has a silver streak of hair running down its back. 9. Cherokee Death Cat. This cat-like beast is said to look like a lion and measures approximately 4 feet tall at its front shoulder and 9 feet long from head to tail. The creature can leap extremely far and is an expert climber, navigating the trees with ease. It feeds on large livestock like cows and horses, and focuses its attack directly on their jugular veins. 10. Grimms. These red-eyed beasts guard some Appalachian cemeteries. Legend has it that settlers throughout the region believed that burying the family dog alive in the cemetery would mean the dog's spirit would morph into a grim, a black dog with red eyes, and that the dog would then protect the graveyard. In addition, here's 10 of the best places to spot cryptids like Yeti, Bigfoot, and Sasquatch, 
Despite its reputation as the world hide-and-seek champion, you just may spot one of the elusive beings in one of these ten hotspots. These large, hairy creatures have been sighted around the world, and they appear frequently in ancient folklore. With sightings rolling into the Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization, as recently as December 2021, here are some of the places you should visit as you search for Yeti, Bigfoot, and Sasquatch. 1. Washington State. Bigfoot is a protected species in at least one Washington county, where it is illegal to harm the ape-like cryptid. The Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization BFRO, has logged more than 700 sightings in Washington, including one as recently as December 2021. In January of 2020, a traffic cam maintained by the Washington State Department of Transportation purportedly recorded Bigfoot walking through the snow. 2. Willow Creek, California. Dubbed the gateway to Bigfoot country, Willow Creek is the site of the most famous Bigfoot footage, the classic photo of the dark, hairy creature traversing the actual Willow Creek in Six Rivers National Forest. A museum in the town houses a series of casts of Bigfoot footprints, photos, and other information and evidence about the being. Hundreds of Bigfoot hunters flock to the town and adjacent national forest each year in hopes of catching a glimpse of Bigfoot. 3. The Himalaya Mountains. The Yeti monster originates in Himalayan lore dating back several thousand years. Much like a Bigfoot or Sasquatch, a Yeti walks on two feet and has typically been described as having dark fur. In more recent times, the monster has been spotted by hikers in the Himalayas, including on Mount Everest. 4. Ontario, Canada. A hunter and his wife thought it was a moose call when they heard a long, loud shriek in the northwestern Ontario wilderness, but then they heard it again. According to The Guardian, locals were torn between believing it was a Sasquatch or a Wendigo, a cryptid from indigenous legend. BFRO has 68 Bigfoot reports from Ontario, the most recent of which was in July 2020, when campers reported hearing howls and cracking branches near their campsite. 5. Whitehall, New York. The small town in the foothills of the Adirondack Mountains declared Bigfoot to be the town mascot after a long history with the famous cryptid. There are several Bigfoot statues posted around town, and sightings date back more than 50 years. There are Bigfoot-themed activities throughout the year, and according to, only in your state, even the town's police officers have gone on the record to recount their experiences with the creature. 6. Blue Mountains, Oregon. The Blue Mountains in northeastern Oregon are another PNW hotspot for Bigfoot activity. With more than 250 sightings logged by BFRO, Oregon is rife with opportunities to hunt for the elusive cryptid. Organized Bigfoot sighting tours are offered by land, sea, and air. Oregon's premier Bigfoot researcher, Scott Violette, says he has seen what could have been Bigfoot tracks outside Baker City, Oregon. 7. Florida. Despite Sasquatch's apparent cold weather preference, Florida is home to a similar creature known as a skunk ape. BFRO reports more than 300 sightings, and a news report from KFLA says many sightings happen in Collier and Polk counties. Collier County is adjacent to Everglades National Park. Perhaps alligators aren't the only creature lurking in the Florida swamps. 8. Ohio. In May of 2021, a woman outside a gym in Ashland, Ohio, said she spotted a large, gray hairy creature about 30 yards from her when she left the facility after a workout. Matthew Moneymaker, the founder of the BFRO, told an Ohio news station that he had personally encountered Bigfoot in Ohio during his time at the University of Akron and that he believed the woman's report. BFRO has logged several hundred Bigfoot reports from Ohio, the most recent of which was in July 2021 outside Bloomington. Moneymaker's quest to find the cryptid is documented on, Finding Bigfoot. 9. Michigan's Upper Peninsula. There have been hundreds of sightings of Bigfoot in the Upper Peninsula, and some witnesses claim to have seen entire packs of the ape-like creatures. The Upper Peninsula is heavily wooded and offers many remote areas for the monsters to hide. A July 2021 video from the Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization purports to show one of the cryptids crossing a river.
10. Falk, Arkansas. The small town in southwest Arkansas is known as the Bigfoot capital of the Midwestern state. A reported Bigfoot attack in Falk even inspired a 1970s film called, The Legend of Boggy Creek. When reports of the monster first made the rounds in the mid-1800s, residents assumed the creature was a survivor of the New Madrid earthquake who had lost his mind from the trauma. Meet the Mountain Monsters crew, a group of trappers who search the Appalachian Mountains in search of the legendary animals that call those hills their home. The Mountain Monsters show, features a band of native West Virginians who call themselves the Ames Team, Appalachian investigators of mysterious sightings. To explain, their mission is to explore the Appalachian Mountains and identify the legendary creatures that allegedly lurk in the shadows. Anyone who watches the show for more than 10 minutes can pretty obviously see that the majority of the show is staged. However, much of the folklore discussed and the creatures the hunters, for a lack of a better word look for are mostly, or at least loosely, based on popular mountain legends and folklore. Known collectively as the Appalachian investigators of mysterious sightings Ames, the men who make up Ames, spend their time investigating reports of mysterious creatures in West Virginia's Tigart Valley and throughout the Appalachian region. Even though the show is staged, they are still my favorite, aside from, the mountain men. Here are the guys. John, Trapper, Tice, Ames co-founder, team leader, expert Trapper. Trapper, who died in December 2019 after a series of health problems, was the team lead of Ames. The West Virginia native was a U.S. Air Force veteran who served in Vietnam before returning home to become a boilermaker. Remembered in his obituary as a lifelong mountaineer, Trapper also loved animals and was a skilled gardener and hunter. It was his zeal for the unexplained that helped launch Ames, Trapper estimated he spent 250 days a year in the woods. Jake, Buck, Low, Expert Caller. As the youngest member of Ames, he takes a fair bit of ribbing from the older guys, but he is always willing to do what it takes to help solve the cryptid mysteries of Appalachia. Jeff Headley, Ames co-founder and team researcher. Described by one of the producers as, Jeff, the genius, he is arguably the brains of the operation as he handles research and technology, and he has the ability to recall mountain folklore and traditional history. Jeff runs the thermal camera on night hunts and organizes witnesses to be interviewed before investigations. When he's not hunting monsters, Jeff runs an antique store, H&S Trading Post. Joseph, Huckleberry, Lot, Head of Security. The towering U.S. Marine veteran has more than 50 years of backwoods experience to draw on as he works to keep the Ames team safe during their nighttime hunts. Despite his height and intense stare, Huckleberry is a gentle giant with a big heart. Willie McQuillian, Ames co-founder and expert trap builder. Willie, the backwoods MacGyver, boasts that he can build a trap to hold anything, and he can. Willie prefers to build his traps using things he finds himself or salvages from junkyards. Willie's day job is a tree trimmer, and his extensive knowledge about the properties of different woods gives him unique insight as he builds the wood and metal traps built to catch Appalachia's cryptids. Wild Bill Neff, expert tracker and big game hunter. Wild Bill is sheer brute force, and goof and funny too, and able to assist Willie with the traps as well as track monsters through the woods. The Marine Corps veteran and big game trapper never hesitates to climb a tree, scale a wall, or give chase, and his hyper, gregarious personality brings energy to the team. That concludes our today's episode in story time. Stay tuned for another tale of extraordinary and chilling mystery unfold. Till next time. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment and suggestion below. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the subscribe button. Kind of wisdom being disposed. I guess time never stands still. And I know that I need never will. But I miss the old ways and I miss the old days as we're looking back over the hill. Looking back. It wasn't so bad
back still brings a thrill As long as you're near I don't mind that we're just looking back over the hill Once that was like me and you